Hey you guys, so <laughs> I decided that I was gonna create a camisole dress. Yes, it is a pattern review for hashtag make nine and my dress series. So if that's some content that you would like to see, keep on watching. everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Rochelle from Rochelle handmade designs and in this video I am giving you a pattern review to Mimi G's the Reese PDF pattern which is also part of so so deaf as well this is hashtag make nine and the dress series that I have going on until October 7th so before we get started go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, I wanna thank all of my new and returning subscribers for coming and chilling with me and for your continued support. All right, so today we are doing this pattern review. So we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it, starting with the pattern description. So the pattern description for this pattern is a camisole. It's like a slip, okay? so. For the Reese PDF pattern, I did the actual slip. It's this one that Mimi G is wearing. So what I did was I went ahead and did the slip and then I added some extra details, which I will get into during the modification process of this pattern, all right? Now, like I said, it's just a camisole and a slip. You can do the dress if you choose to, but that is the pattern description for this pattern. Let's talk about notions used. So there's really no notions used whatsoever other than thread and interfacing. <laughs> That's it. it. This is a super easy, easy to sew pattern as well. Let's talk about fabric used. So the fabric used for this pattern is 100% Ankara print. I picked this fabric up, I wanna say last year or maybe in 2020 from House of Mami Wata, I did a complete pattern haul on all the fabrics that I picked up from Etsy during the, I think it was Ankara Appreciation last year in July. I will link that video in the description box below as well as on the end screen, all right? Let's talk about pattern pieces. So for the pattern, I think it came, it comes in five pattern pieces is what I use, but actually I use more than that because I did some drafting as well, which once again, I will talk about in modifications to get to achieve the dress that I have on. All right, so you need pattern piece, I believe it's six, seven, eight, and nine, possibly 10. So you need the front, the back, the front facing, the back facing, and the strap. So five total pattern pieces, so six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, I believe are all the pattern pieces you need in order to construct the dress, all right? Let's talk about pattern sizing. So for the pattern sizing, you will need, I believe the pattern sizing is extra small to 2XL, I believe. If I'm incorrect, I'll put it up on the screen. Now the size that I cut, I believe was a small, which gave me a bust measurement of a 41 and a half. Now, I was a little nervous. And the reason why is because normally, when I do like my TNT pattern, Simplicity 1366 or Simplicity 9114, which is the Mimi G pattern, I always cut like a 42 and a half to a 43 because you're not gonna wear a bra. However, this pattern has a lot of ease in it. I, 41 was just right for me to cut. However, I did have to take the straps up a lot so I don't have that dangling going on at the bust area but I believe I cut a small which gave me a bust measurement of a 41 if I'm incorrect and cut this extra small I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen all right let's talk about modifications so did I make any modifications absolutely all right so I made three small I would say they're small but they're not really small all right I made three modifications so the first modification is adding pockets. So for the um, pockets, I did not use a pattern whatsoever. I just put my hand, because I couldn't find the right pattern that I wanted to have deep pockets. So what I did was I put my hand on a sheet of drafting paper. When I say I draft, I went out about a good three and a half inches from my middle finger right here, and then traced around it and drew a pocket. Um, 
and it ended up being a huge pocket. I was a little nervous because I didn't know if it was going to fill majority of the dress, but it did. And I love how deep these pockets are. So that was the first modification that I made. The second modification that I made was at a ruffle. Now you may be asking, how did you make the ruffle? So I did create a pattern piece and across I did 30 inches and up and down was 21 inches. And you have the choice of either cutting four out of the fabric or you could cut two on the fold or even one on double fold. Now what I did was because I drafted 31 inches across, I'm sorry, 30 inches across, 21 inches up and down. So length is 30 with this 21. I cut four pieces out and then I just attach each piece on one side using a half an inch seam allowance, searched it, searched the raw edges. And then once I did that and fold and it made a big old loop, I went ahead and um, did a hem of two inches. And I'll talk about why I did a two inch hem here shortly, simply because it was super duper long. <laughs> I'll talk about that here shortly. Um, the third modification that I did was a sash. Now the sash, I want it to be able to wrap around two to three times around my waist. So what I did was I did a, um, I dropped a pattern that measures, well, I did it. I cut it on the fold. So I did 15, and a half inches by five inches, okay? So when you cut it on the fold, it's going to give me a measurement of 31 by five inches. 31 inches long, five inches high. When you fold it in half and use a half inch seam allowance, that gives you a four inch measurement for the height, okay? Um, so basically, and it also gives you a 30 inch, you know, when you take off both half inch on the side as well. So. What you need to do, if you actually draft a sash that measures 31 inches by five inches and you cut it on the fold, you will need to cut three on the fold of fabric. However, if you did what I did to save some paper and measured 15.5 by five inches, 15.5 inches uh, long and then five inches wide and you cut it on the fold, right? you will need to definitely cut six of those out on the fold, which is what I did because I did not think about it and I wanted it super duper long. So I was able to tie it um, across the front, across the back and come back to the front and then I made a bow. So yeah, I cut six on the fold of fabric for the sash because I did 15.5 by five inches cutting on the fold. So those are the modifications that I made. If you're wondering about the ruffle, all I did was um, how I got those measurements is you will need to measure the bottom of your pattern. Um, so the hemline, you need to measure across from side seam to side seam, um, whatever that measurement is, multiply it by two inches, okay? And that becomes your length, okay? And then the width is however long you want. So I did a width of 21 inches because I wanted the, um, ruffle to start right at my knee. So I measured from the knee to how long I wanted, you know, my dress to end and that's what I went with, okay? And but you also need to measure from your shoulder down to the knee where your ruffle is going to uh stop and then take that measurement onto the pattern. So it was a lot of what do I want to do? Where do I want the ruffle to start and all that good stuff, which is why I did a 2 inch hem because I did not account for seam allowance. Um, so when I measured, I measured a way too long. Okay. And it was dragging the floor. And if you know me, then you know, I don't like nothing dragging the floor. Okay. And getting dirty. I don't like any of that stuff. So that's what I did as far as modifications. All right. Did it look like the photos are the drawing on the pattern envelope? No, it did not because it, like I said, I made modifications. So it does not look like what Mimi G did however Mimi G have done this pattern several times and made different hacks of her own so no it does not look like you know the pattern itself but I'm glad and I'm happy with the modifications that I made all right let's talk about likes and dislikes my dislikes there's nothing that I dislike about the pattern it's super easy to sew this is a quick sew as well 
For those of you who do not like taping patterns together or like doing PDF patterns, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a fan of PDF patterns, but this one is a good one to do if you just want to kind of like get your foot into doing PDF patterns. This would be a good one. Just send it off to PDF Plotting because there is an AO pattern or a print shop pattern that you can, this is a print shop pattern that you can send off to PDF Plotting, get it printed, and then you do not have to do any taping, okay? <laughs> So yeah, you could also do that as well and just cut it out like you're cutting a regular big four, now the big five patterns, okay? So you could do that as well. So there's no dislike. I love everything that I did for this pattern. First time experiences. So there's no first time experiences other than drafting my own ruffle. It wasn't time consuming. It's not something that I have done before I have done many a ruffles but drafting a ruffle this huge is the first time to put on the bottom of a dress but if you remember my Easter draft which I will go ahead and put up you guys know I did several tiers now that wasn't anything that I drafted but I kind of remember the steps of that which is how I got to this ruffle at the bottom of this dress all right <laughs> let's talk about what I sew it again absolutely I would sew this pattern again but I wouldn't make the ruffles. I wouldn't do this tie. I would pretty much do something different if I do this pattern again. However, I would keep the pockets because I love that I could throw my hands in the pockets. All right? <laughs> would I recommend this pattern to others? Absolutely. Yes, um, I would recommend this pattern to others. The reason why I did this pattern as hashtag make nine 2022 and my dress pattern for you know the summer the camisole for the summer it's because i had an inspiration photo and that inspiration photo is from grass field um, on instagram so i'm gonna put up the photo that's my inspiration photo and then tell you and show you why i did it pretty much exactly like the young model from grass field so I loved it and the funny part about it is I already had the fabric in my stash before I even seen the photo. So when I seen this photo, the first thing I said is, oh, I already have that fabric. So let me go ahead and recreate the look. And now it's just time for me to recreate the look. And I hope I did this <laughs> pattern and the fabric justice. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about my pattern rating. So for this pattern, I am stamping this pattern as a five out of five. I love this dress. Now, I could wear this dress everywhere. I could wear this dress on the beach. I could wear this dress out and about. I could wear this dress doing dishes. So, I mean, this is a nice roomy pattern you could wear anywhere, okay? So I love something roomy, something flowy. This is the dress that you want to be in, okay? <laughs> roomy, flowy, yes, honey, okay? Let's get it, all right? And let's stay tuned for that. All right, so, that's it for the pattern review. I hope you enjoyed this pattern review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So, until next time, keep sewing. Nobody did it right, I had a strong